Alrighty, Cedar Point Shores was pretty good, pretty good. The drop slides were pretty good. Uh, we did not ride that because it had a abnormally long line. And yeah, we're going to the park. What is up enthusiasts? It is Cedar Flags here and welcome back to another one of my videos. Today we aren't talking about roller coasters, but instead a certain water park at, you guessed it, Cedar Point. Sandusky, Ohio has a great collection of water parks and Cedar Point Shores, well, is no exception. It is a decently sized water park and it has a decent collection of water slides, but I realized there was something a little off about it for being the water park that is at one of the biggest amusement parks in the world. So today I'm going to talk about my problem with this water park and how to solve it. This is Cedar Flags and today we are going to be talking about the major problem I have with Cedar Point Shores. So before we get into any of that, I want to talk first about my personal experience at the water park. Yeah, it is a little bizarre, especially the fact that I have had that as one of my home water parks for most of my life, but this was my first ever visit this past weekend. So did I like it? Of course I loved it. It was a great time and it was very nice, very clean and very scenic. They had a lot of great restaurants there and the architecture was great. And I think a lot of water parks are lacking that. When it comes to some of their biggest water slides, if you're a water park fan, you may know about Whitewater West. One of the greatest water park manufacturers out there, they have some of their products there like the Aqua Drop and the Colorado Drop located at the water park. Other than that, you have a few body slides and a few raft slides, and you actually have two separate lazy rivers, a calmer one and then one that has some rapids and waves. I think it is a great time, but as I was at the water park, I thought there was, well, a few things missing, and I want to talk a little bit about that in the next part of the video. So what is the big problem relating to Cedar Point Shores? So I've been teasing you all long enough. What do I think is the biggest problem with Cedar Point Shores, a water park that is located at one of the biggest parks in the world? Well, simply to put the variety it has. Yes, it does have a few slides from Whitewater West, including those drop slides and those raft slides. But other than those and some body slides, they really do not have that much variety whatsoever. It's either a body slide or a raft slide that doesn't have any unique elements to it. And though I have to give credit to their different lazy rivers and their many different play areas for little kids, I do have to say when it comes to us thrill seekers, there really is not that much variety. Going from water slide to water slide, they seemed very similar to each other. And despite a few other elements that made a water slide or two unique, none of the water slides had something that popped out. For example, let's look at another water park. Let's look at Hurricane Harbor in Gurney, Illinois, right next to Six Flags Great America. They have a pro slide tornado. They have drop slides and Cedar Point Shores has those as well. They have a toilet bowl slide. They have multiple water slides of every genre. And even looking at a smaller water park, Hurricane Harbor at Darien Lake. When I was at Darien Lake, I felt a little more variety than I did at Cedar Point Shores. And when it comes to amusement parks, Cedar Point is way bigger. But when it comes to Darien Lake, I mean, I think Darien Lakes is way more well-rounded. They had water slides with multiple funnels. They had the classic toilet bowl slides. They had a longer mat racer slide. They had a pro slide tornado and a boomerango. It just seemed like a more complete water slide lineup. Well, Cedar Point Shores seems to have a lot of water slides that are very similar to each other. They're just on a raft or on your body. They have a few twists and turns before going into the splash pool. But when it comes to other water parks like DreamWorks Water Park or Kalahari that I've personally been to, I find a lot more variety. So simply to put, the one main problem I have is that they need to diversify. And a lot of the water slides, especially on the southern half of the water park, on the other side of Magnum from the entrance, they are a lot more outdated than the other slides. You could tell that these water slides have a little bit of age to them. Even though they've gotten fresh new paint schemes, it would be cool to see at least one of the complexes shut down and replaced with a water slide that you don't see in a lot of other places. 
Now, I'm not 100% surprised about this because Cedar Point is a great dry park. You go there for the roller coasters, the world-class amusement park thrills. And as much as I trash Holiday World on this channel, I gotta give them the benefit of the doubt here because looking at Holiday World, they could have a good coaster collection with a good water slide collection. It could be one and two the same. And American Dream does this as well. A great amusement park in an equally as good water park. So I feel like with a few changes, Cedar Point Shores could be a destination along with Cedar Point as well. How would I personally change it? Well, let's get into that. So, how do we solve this problem? How do we make Cedar Point Shores on top of Cedar Point its own little destination for water park seekers alike? Well, I think it's pretty simple, expand its collection. Get rid of some unoriginal slides, like Cross Current, which is an unoriginal slide complex that can be found many other times in the water park, and replace it with something much more modern and much better. I think, first of all, a really good fit here would be a Boomerango. This is one of those classic go up and down water slides, and it looks like it has a great feeling of weightlessness. I got to go on the one at Darien Lake, and I have to say, I was a pretty big fan of it. And looking at some other slides, I think a Master Blaster would do wonders at this place. Imagine a massive large scale similar to the one at Great America Water Coaster. It could be the tallest water coaster in the world. And Cedar Point could advertise it just like they do all of their dry roller coasters. The tallest of this kind in the world, this would be the tallest Master Blaster in the world. It could surround one half of the water park, and I think that would be an absolutely phenomenal deal to make. Another one I would love to see would be the classic Toilet Bowl water slide, because after all these years, you would think that Cedar Point Shores has one, but they don't. I've been to small local family fun centers that have a bigger variety and a more innovative water slide collection than this. And I'm not hating on Cedar Point Shores whatsoever. I was a huge fan when I went, but I just felt like there was something missing. And what I explained is what I thought was missing. So take this into consideration if anyone is watching this. And what did you think about Cedar Point Shores? Like I said, I absolutely love the collection there thus far, but I think they could do so much more to make their collection even bigger and make it a world-class water park at an already world-class amusement park. This is Cedar Flags and I'll see you all later.